Neptune, my favorite planet. Let's visit this beast in today's video. Okay, so Neptune is the fourth largest planet in our solar system. Take four Earths and put them side to side, and that's how big Neptune is. That's its diameter. As you can see, the planet has this very rich dark blue color to it, which I find fascinating looking. Neptune is a gaseous planet, so you cannot land or actually place yourself on the planet. As you enter the atmosphere, it wouldn't be hard to control the spacecraft or whatever you're inside. As the atmosphere is not made up of thick gases, yet. Hydrogen, helium, and methane gas covers the entire atmosphere, making it impossible to breathe. As you get closer to the planet, you will notice something very, very harsh. Something that will make it impossible to get to the surface of Neptune. It has winds. It has storms. Oh, it can't be that bad. Airplanes can get through bad storms on Earth. So a space shuttle can definitely survive the storms on, on Neptune. Hell to the no it can't. Neptune has the fastest winds in our solar system. Its winds can reach up to a speed of 2,400 kilometers per hour. That is two times faster than the speed of sound. If that doesn't destroy the shuttle, then we will be flying through the atmosphere uncontrollably, probably forever. By that time, we would be long gone. But let's just assume that we would keep going until we reached the surface. As we get closer, our view out the window would be this dark blue color, maybe to the point where it would even be black. Just imagine you're in a plane going through a hurricane, a hurricane with winds that go near the speed of a bullet. Deep inside Neptune, there is methane ices, ammonia, and water. Let's assume we land on the surface. The days on Neptune are only 16 hours long, so days would pass faster than on Earth. A Neptune year is, are you ready for this? 165 Earth years long. So yeah. Even if you were born on Neptune, you cannot live through a whole Neptune year. Unless you could age up to 165 years old. Which I highly doubt. Well, that's pretty sad, but cool to know. Just when you thought it can't get any worse, it does. The temperatures are around negative 214 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind that you can get a frostbite when it's zero degrees Celsius with a 30 km per hour wind. Now imagine what would happen if your skin was exposed to Neptune surface. Say your hand was exposed to the air. It would take no time for your hand to freeze in place. Whatever position your hand was in, it would stay in that position, as the cells in your hand would literally freeze in their position your hand would turn white first. Your body won't even have time to make your hand swell up, as it's so cold that it won't allow blood to flow. You won't feel anything, as the nerves and the muscles in your hand have stopped working. A moment after, your hand will start to turn purple-blue, until finally your hand would be permanently destroyed and can turn black. How is that for a nice breeze? Now, how long will it take to get to Neptune? It would take over 12 years. Okay, let's recap and think about this. Neptune has winds that could kill you instantly, is cold enough to freeze you to death without even you noticing, it has no breathable air, no life, no solid ground, and its year has over 60,000 days. Sure thing, oh, we'll, we'll visit it all right. The only reason we should visit Neptune would be to explore and sightsee, that's all. But even that's not worth getting to it. 
Gotta love Neptune.